Hey everyone, this is Prince from Desi Programmer. Welcome back to another exciting video. And in this video, we are going to talk about the Flutter Engage event that happened yesterday as per st Indian Standard Time. And then we will also talk about the future of Flutter and Dart here on this YouTube channel. So obviously the event was pretty long, but here are some simple extracts from it. So A, the talked about the companies and projects using Flutter so that they can show us that hey, Flutter is actually being trusted by some tech giants. So Google Pay is being rewritten in Flutter. Then a company called iRobot is building using Flutter. And then a new Ubuntu installer is being built in Flutter. And also Microsoft is sending support for dual and foldable screen for Flutter. So these are the tech giants which are actually trusting Flutter, which they wanted to show us. And we obviously know that they are. They also said that more than 150,000 apps have been built in Flutter. There are more than 50,000 third party plugins in Flutter. So obviously it's a very trustable framework as of now. Now let's talking about the actual Flutter code, the developer part. Then there were some updates regarding Flutter. Flutter 2 will be using Dart 2.12 by default. So null safety is mandatory by default and that Flutter 2 is also here. Now there is a small issue here, which is that most plugins will become deprecated. So now we have to wait for the plugin creators to update them. But they have answered this with a flutter fix, which, which was already available actually. So every time you have some deprecated code, it will show an option using which you can simply fix it with some new updated code. Then we have a Google Ads SDK natively in Flutter. So now monetizing your apps will be easy. We are going to get significant updates in the Firebase plugin. So Flutter plus Firebase is going to be a very loved stack. Flutter web is now stable. So that's a good thing. And you can take a look at Flutter desktop too. In simple terms, they want to say that if you want to build any UI, if you want to paint anything on the screen on any platform, you will find a Flutter option there. And this will be a very good example of write once run anywhere. Now that we have talked about the future Flutter, let's talk about the future of Flutter here. So personally, I'm not going to switch to Flutter 2 instantly as I have to work on some projects and I don't want to break things. I have to launch it soon. And talking about tutorials, I actually planned some of them, but I was waiting because I knew that there are going to be updates. And the last Firebase plugin update, it literally made every tutorial useless. So first of all, you will have a complete crash course in Hindi. We will have a complete crash course in English with everything that has changed because my last tutorials were around a year ago. Then we will have a crash course on Flutter plus Firebase in English on YouTube. And in Hindi, I'm still thinking whether I should do that or not. Let me know if I should do that or too, or not. And there will be paid courses too in Flutter Hindi, Flutter English, and then a Flutter plus Firebase paid course. And I may later also put a custom backend tool like Node.js or, or Django with Flutter and also how to work in that. And yeah, there will be paid courses as it literally takes a lot of time to put a full fledged course that can be useful for anyone online. And I have to stop working on projects. It will be a bit better way to support the channel too. And I'm actually planning to change my website to a membership website. So I will put course there with a plan so that you can get it for a couple of months and then watch everything. Or you may also buy a, a courses as well. I will talk with companies as for streaming and payments. Let's see what happens. But everything will be done in a week or two. I will also code something in Flutter web. I'll first put a blog and if you like it, then we may do a crash course on Flutter web too. And in the same way, I will do something in Flutter desktop. I actually tried it to wrap some backend Go code with Flutter UI. But yeah, I will try to do some another vlog. If you like the Flutter desktop or Flutter web or both, then I will do a crash course on them too. Anyway, that's pretty much it from my side in this video. And basically Flutter 2 is here, Dart 2.12 is here. There have been a lot of changes. And this I think is a framework that you can invest in. And even though you don't get a result immediately, at the end of the day, you are going to get a result out of it. So, well, that's pretty much it from my side in this video. I'll catch you up soon talking more about Flutter, Dart, coding and whatnot. 